Good evening. I am going to take a different tack. The other speakers, I will note, uh, Mr. Selico, I will give you credit, as I have in writing, that you run a good meeting. But what you do is, is not fair, because each of these people tonight that spoke, spoke about Derek Kennedy, and they all praised him. Derek Kennedy is not on the agenda tonight. Economic development isn't on. A lot of things they talked about were not reorganization. I'm not going to go down that path. I'm going to wait till Derek Kennedy is here. But do you see where the problem comes, Mr. Selico, when you allow people to praise Derek Kennedy, even if it's not on the agenda? But if I get up here, I'm called berating him. And I'm having my, that's called viewpoint discrimination. As you should know by now, we've been wrestling with this. It's not, but you can't do it. It's just even a sense of fairness. You should understand if you allow people to, to praise him, you have to allow people to criticize him. But you didn't shut any of these people down and say that they're not on the agenda, which you do to me all the time because you don't like the message. And that isn't fair. And so when um, Mark Sullivan asked why, that's why, Mr. Selico, you run a good meeting and you're often right about a lot of things, like on the airport. You were right. They shouldn't have wrote, written that letter. Should have waited a letter to come from RIAC to, to show their cards. You were right. But you don't. You let your emotions get ahead of you, and that's why we're here. These people, I know some of these people that are getting criticized tonight. They had no intention of, you know, being in power. But it just became too much. You weren't doing what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to read some of this stuff from Robert's Rules about the role of the president. But what I find extremely indecent is Mr. Knoll, again, telling you you should stop speech. He doesn't believe in the First Amendment. He doesn't believe in the Constitution. He should move to a place where they don't have it. North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, China. He's indecent. He's not an American. You have the right to speak up here. And then they should, everybody needs to look up the word berate and a bunch of other words. Anyway.